paano ba gawin na smart Android TV yung mga ordinary TV sets sa bahay? May simpleng paraan tayo dyan. Are we gonna jump into that right now? Hey guys, how are you? This is Rubro Tipoy from Cebu, always on the go. If you're new here and you want to learn some tips, consider subscribing, click the bell so you don't miss the fun and learning. As we all know, maraming Android TV na mabibili natin sa market. Yung iba nga guys, 4K, Ultra HD plus HDR support. Pero yun nga lang guys, medyo mahal. So kung medyo nagtitipid tayo, ito yung solusyon. Pwede natin gamitin yung Mi Box S. Ito ay product ng Xiaomi guys. So itong Mi Box S guys can support uh, 4K Ultra HD at sa pagkakalam ko guys, it can also support high dynamic range na content or HDR. So ito ay isang set-top box and yung set-top box guys or STP parang kakawig to guys sa mga cable box natin sa bahay yung provide ng cable company guys na that box na parang tuning device that converts cable television signal into analog or digital so uh, kakawig guys pero mas sophisticated tong na Mi Box natin guys kasi it can be connected to a wireless access point at marami tong mga advanced features guys so itong Mi Box S ay may mga pre-installed na rin ng mga apps like uh, Netflix, Prime Video ng Amazon, YouTube, Spotify and other Google Play na mga apps. Right? So, sabi dito guys, may Chromecast built-in na itong Mi Box S. So, mas nakakatipid tayo dito guys, pag ito yung bili natin. Kasi nga, hindi na natin kailangan bumili ng Chromecast. So, yung Chromecast pala guys is product ng Google. It's a device that lets you wirelessly cast whatever content you have in your phone to a wider screen ng television nyo. So, nakakatipid tayo dito guys. Hindi na natin kailangan bumili ng Chromecast. Kasi nga, dito na yung feature ng Chromecast sa Mi Box S. Another feature guys ng Mi Box S is yung Google Assistant. So, basically, ito yung ginagawa natin guys ng mga like uh, voice search natin sa Android phone natin. So, yun yung feature ng Google Assistant. So, nandito na rin yan guys sa Mi Box S natin na device. Okay? So, yun lang kasi yung mga information nito sa box guys. So, we can start unboxing para malaman natin guys kung ano yung mga accessories na meron sa loob ng box. Alright? And, rule of thumb when unboxing guys, don't accept if the seal is broken. So, as you can see guys, may seal tayo dito ng Mi Box. So, intact pa yung seal. Okay? So, may maya guys, sasabihin ko kung ah, magkano yung bili ko nito guys at saan ko nabili na online store. Sana tapusin yung video guys para may information kayo dyan kung saan natin nakuha itong Mi Box. Alright, so let's start the unboxing. Okay, ito na yun guys. So, makikita natin yung Mi Box. Meron dito mga manuals guys, tapos yung warranty card. Ito yung mga documents guys na wala naman tayong pakialam dito kasi nga hindi natin binabasa. So, nandito yung mga installation guide ng Mi Box. Pwede nyo basahin ito guys before installing this Mi Box S. Yung iba kasi guys, binabasa lang itong mga installation guides or mga manuals pag sira na yung device nila. Yun yung problema, di ba? So, yun natin guys yung mga accessories ng Mi Box. Ikita natin guys ito yung power adapter. Ikita natin yung specifications ng power adapter ng Mi Box. Mi Box comes with 5.2 volt power adapter, 2.1 amperes. So, ito yung AC adapter ng Mi Box guys. Tapos, oh my free HDMI cable. Yung sinasabi sa box kanina guys na Mi Box S comes with free HDMI cable. Ito na yan guys, tingnan natin kung tapat ba yung length ng HDMI cable. So, 1 meter yung uh, length nito guys. Sapat na rin ito guys para umabot dun sa paglalagyan ng Mi Box S. Then, the last item guys is yung remote control ng Mi Box. Pagkakalam ko guys, ito ay Bluetooth Voice Remote Control. Kasi nga, it can support the Google Assistant feature na meron tayo dito sa Mi Box S. So, makikita nyo guys, ito yung remote control. Ang maganda guys, manipis lang siya. Tapos, konti lang yung mga buttons na makikita dito guys. Sa pagandang gamitin. Simple lang. Simple lang yung layout niya. Tsaka magaan. So, ito yung mga accessories guys. Set aside mo natin yung box. Aside dito sa mga setup guide. So, merong remote control, yung AC adapter or the power adapter, HDMI cable, at saka itong Mi Box na unit guys. So, let's try to examine the physical appearance ng Mi Box S. So, plastic siya guys. Pero maganda naman yung quality. Okay. Alam ko may LED dito guys eh. Nag-i-emit kapag na-power on. Something for functional yung device natin. Okay. Dito nga pala guys, walang uh, anti-slip or non-slip rubber na nakalagay. So, tingnan lang natin yung mga surfaces na paglalagyan natin ng Mi Box S. Kasi nga, prone kasi guys na mag-slip yung um, unit mo kasi nga walang rubber na padding dito sa lalim. Tapos magaan lang guys. 
sa pagkakalam ko about 150 grams lang yung weight nito guys so let's examine the ports na meron dito sa Mi Box S may audio output sa pagkakalam ko yung audio output ng Mi Box ay maganda kasi nga pinagsama yung features ng Dolby at saka yung DTS trivia lang guys may Dolby Atmos ata yun na ginagamit din ng Apple TV yung Amazon Android TV Box or Dangle So, mas maganda rin yung features ng Dolby Atmos. Pero yung Dolby plus DTS, maganda rin yung features, of course, para dito sa Android box na very affordable, okay? So, aside from the audio output, meron din tayong HDMI output dito sa Mi Box S. Pagkakalam ko yung HDMI version nito is 2.0a. Ano yung pagkakaiba ng HDMI 2.0a dun sa previous version na 2.0? Simple lang naman guys, yung HDMI 2.0a ay may HDR capability or it can support HDR content. So, pag sinasabing HDR HDR content, mas brighter yung images with higher contrast between the light and dark on the areas of your television screen. So, simply put, mas uh, realistic yung colors at saka vibrant yung images pag nasa HDR content. Pero, trivia lang, yung HDMI 2.0 ay hindi to yung latest na HDMI version. Meron tayong HDMI 2.0b at yung HDMI 2.1. Alright, so, yun ata yung pinaka-latest na version ng HDMI, yung 2.01. Aside from HDMI port, We also have the USB input. Sa pagkakalam ko guys, yung USB input ng Mi Box S ay nasa version 2.0 lang. Then, as we all know, meron namang a USB 3.0 and yung pinakalatest nga ngayon is USB 3.1. USB 2.0 lang itong gamit ng Mi Box S at around 480 megabits per second yung uh, data transfer rate. Tapos, yung USB 3.0 ay nasa 5 gigabits per second yung data transfer times 2 din yung 3.1 na version which is uh, 10 gigabits per second. So, yun yung mga data transfer rate ng USB versions. Pero, maganda din naman itong USB 2.0 kasi nga, this Mi Box is, it is not designed for data transferring or making backups and stuff like that. So, USB 2.0 can really uh, suffice to the features um, provided by this Mi Box S. So, 2.0 is a good uh, version for this Android TV box. Yung last na port na makikita natin dito is yung power input. Ito yung gagamitin natin na power adapter para rito guys sa Mi Box S. So, itong Mi Box S natin guys comes with a CPU na Cortex A53 core 64 bit tapos yung GPU nito guys is Mali 450 and yung RAM is 2 gigabytes then internal storage is 8 gigabytes And then for the operating system, ang gamit ng Mi Box S ay yung Android 8.1 version. So, of course, obviously, ito yung 8th major release ng Android operating system way back, I think, 2 years ago, 2017, yung uh, Android 8 or Android Oreo. Again, yung Mi Box S ay nasa Android 8.1 yung operating system. I don't know if it can be upgraded to Android uh, 9 or Android Pie. So, tingnan natin mamaya, guys, if we can do an upgrade online. So, check natin mamaya dun sa settings ng Mi Box S. Alright, so when it comes to wireless connectivity guys, yung standard na ginagamit nito is yung Wi-Fi 802.11a, 802.11b, 802.11g, and 11n. Ito yung napakaganda kasi yung Mi Box S also supports the Wi-Fi standard 802.11ac, right? So dual band to guys, 2.4GHz and 5GHz. Okay, bakit sinabi ko na maganda yung 802.11ac? Kasi nga, nasa 5 GHz band yun. So, kung yung Wi-Fi access point mo ay may 5 GHz na band, doon natin i-connect yung V-Box natin. So, ilagay lang natin guys na malapit doon sa uh, wireless access point mo na may 5 GHz. So, yun. Mabilis yung data transfer pag ganun yung setup. Pero kung ilalagay mo naman yung V-Box mo na malayo doon sa Wi-Fi router or access point, doon ka mag-connect sa 2.4 GHz. Kasi nga, yung 2.4 GHz ay para sa mga longer range. Pero, nakakompromise din naman yung uh, speed. Kaya, sa to you guys kung saan mo gagamitin o saan mo i-coconnect yung uh, Mi Box mo. So, you have the options to connect it to 2.4 GHz band or to the 5 GHz band dun sa wireless access point mo. Alright, so, aside from the Wi-Fi connectivity, punta tayo sa Bluetooth connectivity na to guys. Yung version ng Bluetooth nito guys is version 4.2. Di ganang mabilis dun sa latest na version which is uh, Bluetooth 5.0. Pero, okay lang naman guys kasi it would suffice the Google Assistant feature na meron tayo dito sa Mi Box. Hindi so, naman natin kailangan ng um, 
Bluetooth version 5.0 kasi nga, we will not be using this Mi Box S for IoT applications and stuff like that. Yung Bluetooth 4.2 version ay sakto lang talaga sa Mi Box S. Okay? At an affordable price. So, ayun guys. Recap lang tayo dun sa mga features. So, itong Mi Box S, pag yung lumang TV mo or yung TV set mo can support 4K plus HDR content. So, mas maganda talaga yung viewing experience mo. Kasi nga, yung Mi Box S can also support 4K and HDR content. Tapos, yung HDMI version nito guys is 2.0A. This is good for HDR content also. So, that's it. Napakasulit itong Mi Box S. So, let's do the setup process para mas malaman pa natin guys kung ano yung mga features talaga ng Mi Box S. So, samahan nyo ko guys sa pag-setup. So, meron nga pala tayong dalawang AAA na batteries guys. Free ito sa Mi Box S. Simple lang naman yung setup guys. Lagay natin itong power adapter dito sa power input. Tapos yung HDMI which is HDMI 2.0A cable. Lagay natin dito sa HDMI output na port. So, the other end ng HDMI guys, connect natin doon sa TV. Tapos yung power adapter doon sa AC source. The other end of your HDMI cable ay lalagay natin dito sa HDMI port ng TV set. So ito guys, na-set up na natin yung Mi Box S. Tapos ito yung TV set natin guys, yung lumang TV natin sa bahay. Right, so using the remote control of the TV, turn on lang natin. So yun yung una natin makikita guys sa screen ng TV set natin. Ito yung remote guys ng Mi Box S. So you can see, may Netflix button guys. Prime Video from Amazon. Tapos yung volume controls. So yun simple lang yung layout ng uh, remote control ng Mi Box S. Ayan, so sabi dito guys, let's press. So, press natin tong button na indicated on the screen. So, pili tayo guys kung ano yung language. Alright, enter. Tapos, let's uh, continue the setup. So, using our Android phone, guys. So, ito yung steps sa quick setup, guys. First, in your Android phone, open the pre-installed app, Google. Number two, type or say, OK Google, set up my device. Number three, tap natin yung Mi Box 4, 290 on the list. Can see, getting started na yung device natin dito sa phone. Okay, click uh, next. Searching for devices na tayo, guys. Sa ating Mi Box S. So, yung code na nasa TV screen natin, guys, is makikita natin sa phone natin. Tap natin next. Then, turn on the Wi-Fi network. Okay, connect. So, ngayon, guys, nasa-sync na yung uh, Google account dito sa Android phone. Syncing with the Mi Box S. So, yun. Nasa-sync na, guys. Tapos, connected na yung phone natin. At saka yung Mi Box S. So, let's just accept terms and conditions. Yes. Okay, continue. So, get personal results. Ayan. Google Assistant, yes. So, install the following apps. So, dito guys, we are asked to install the following apps. Kung gusto nyo mag-install ng mga apps na recommended guys, click nyo lang continue guys. Okay. Your Mi Box 4 is powered by Android TV. Just click uh, next. Alright, so sabi dito guys, we can wirelessly cast the screen of our phone. Android system update, select to find out more and download so details. Pwede palang ma-upgrade yung Android version to Android version 9.0 or Android Pie. So, from Android version 8.1, we'll download and update to Android system 9.0 or Android Pie. A few moments later. So, yun guys, patapos na yung download. So, restart lang natin yung Mi Box S after downloading the updates. So, ito yung mga built-in apps guys na nakikita dito sa Mi Box S. As you can see, my Netflix, uh, Prime Video of Amazon, YouTube, and Google Play Movies and TV. So, marami pang iba na mga apps guys na pwede mong install dito guys sa Mi Box S. So, ayun. Susubukan natin yung feature ng Google Assistant na meron itong Mi Box S. Using our uh, voice remote control, try natin i-press itong ito guys, Google Assistant na logo. Open Netflix. Ayan guys, you can see so mas smooth, smooth yung response guys ng Google Assistant feature. So, try natin yung ito. Open YouTube. So, ayan, nag-open na yung YouTube uh, application guys. Try playing a video. Play NBA Replay. So ayan, try natin yung uh, Chromecast built-in feature ng Mi Box S. Download lang tayo guys ng app yung Google Home yung sa Android phone natin. So, ito yung Google Home. Open natin yung app na Google Home. 
Ayan, Google Home. Tapos nakapair dapat yung Android phone mo dun sa Mi Box S. So, select lang natin guys yung Mi Box 4. Ito yung Mi Box uh, S natin. Yung Mi Box 4. So, you can control the volume using our Android phone. So, gusto mong mag-cast wirelessly guys. Cast mo yung screen ng phone mo. At makikita mo sa big screen ng TV mo, right? Ganda yan. Wow! So, yan guys. Kung ano yung screen mo dito sa phone mo, same din yung makikita mo dun sa TV. So, it's actually the feature of Chromecast. Tara natin mag-play ng videos. Yan. Tara natin landscape. Ito yun guys. Ito yung content sa phone. Tapos ito naman yung sa TV. So, yun yung built-in na Chromecast dito sa Mi Box S yun lang guys yung setup ng Mi Box S natin may dalawang tips ako para sa inyo guys first alam natin na medyo mahal yung Android TV na available dun sa market so gusto nyo makatipid kasi nga di pa tayo handa na bumili ng Android TV so yung Mi Box S ay napakagandang solusyon para may experience natin yung Android TV pinili ko tong Mi Box S guys sa halagang 2,766 dun sa Xiaomi Professional Shop ng Lazada so solid lang talaga sa price range na 2,700 to 3,200 tip number 2 maraming mura na mga Android box online it's up to you if you'll go for it but uh, for me I would prefer the Mi Box S kasi nga malaki na yung community o user community online ng Mi Box S aside from that guys yung Xiaomi is kilala na din na brand so yun so pag malawak na yung user community online mas marami kang makikita ng mga technical details so yun yung kagandahan guys dito sa Mi Box S so guys, that's all I've got. So if you like this video, drop a thumbs up, leave a comment, share this video, and consider subscribing so you don't miss the fun and learning. See you in my next video.